In this Deco Network tutorial, I'd like to walk you through two different things. First of all, I'd like to show you how you can limit certain products on a website, so where you want this website to only sell certain blank products. But secondly, how you can limit access to that website, so only certain people or people with a special passcode can access that site. And both those combinations are perfect for school uniforms or company uniforms or maybe charity events or organizations where they only want to have certain products on their website and want to limit access to the site to only people they give access to. So people that maybe have an account on the site or have the special passcode that they set up for that website. Now I've already built a, a new web store under my website settings. So if you haven't done that, you can first of all add a new affiliate store, which you can modify the settings for, or you can apply these settings to an additional affiliate store. And I've just called my web store test new store. First of all, click on manage. That takes you to the website settings for that affiliate store. And the first thing we want to do is limit the blank products that are available on that particular store. Now at a fulfillment center level, you set up all your products and by default every web store can access all those products but you can go into an individual web store like I'm doing now and scroll down to the select blank product section and on this page you can see all the product categories as created on the fulfillment center level now again by default every web store has the ability to sell all blank products to change that simply uncheck that option and then you can disable products either at a category level or you can click into a category and disable high level categories or you can click through and enable and disable individual products. Now on this current website I have free access to all the products so when I browse to that I can see all the products on the site but I only want the fine uh, jersey short sleeve, uh, the beefy uh, fleece crew and we might also have the um, the ultra blend pullover hooded sweatshirt so I go back to my settings and I'll untick all the other products except for the fine jersey we'll keep that on I don't want any basic knits I don't want any performance knits I do want the crew jumper but I don't want the ultra heavy blend and I don't want any t-shirts and I'll turn that one off as well actually that's linked to the same product because it's in a different category so all I've got left now are from the apparel category, the fine jersey short sleeve, which is available in multiple categories, so you can see it repeated. And I now have the beefy uh, no shrink crew neck and the um, ultra blend pullover hooded sweatshirt. So I click save on that. It will now save those settings. So if I click back to my website and refresh, Okay. That page is now updated with only those three products. So that's the first part done. The second part though, I want to limit access to this website. So someone randomly browses or finds this website, they can't see the products and purchase. Maybe because the prices are special for that one client, or maybe because they're uniform designs and the general public can't purchase those products. So I'll go back to my administration section, and we'll scroll down to general settings and permissions. Then from the left hand menu you want to go down to options and under account options by default all customers can see this website. So I'm not limiting it to customers who just log in or I'm not limiting it to customers can see all the products but must log in to add a product to a cart or customer must log in to see the prices. There's different options you can choose. At the moment, everyone can see the website and it's completely open. So I want to shut that down so that customers must log in to view the website. So I'll check the first option. And then we have two choices. A customer can log in with their own username and password, or I can keep it really simple and just give a generic passcode or keyword to everyone who I want to use that website. So maybe you can include that on a newsletter or a mail out to those group of customers. And I'll just call the password test123. So if they enter that passcode on the website, they can then see that site. So we'll scroll down and we'll save those settings. Now I'll go back to my website 
and I'll refresh that one more time. So now the site has been updated, it's all been turned off, the name of the website is still visible, it would be your logo if you had a logo, but now to see the site you must enter in the passcode. So I'll enter in test123 and click login. Then I'm taken directly back to the website, I can see all the products, all the prices, and I can customise those and purchase them on that site.